So the film is about um, a guy who's just trying to get through his day and is constantly interrupted by this, you know, godlike force, which happens to be a editor slash visual effects artist who is manipulate un unknowingly manipulating this character's world. I, I wanted to do a project that kind of um, played off of the idea of filmmaking, and specifically post-production filmmaking, and. Um, and that seemed to fit with what Autodesk was looking for in, in a project. So it was a, it was a good match, I think. I, I saw that or Autodesk was releasing Smoke for this free trial. And I just happened to be at a perfect time where I needed to recut my reel and I wasn't working on a project. So I said, you know what, this is good. Got the media in, started editing. Within four hours, I had a good edit done. And I was just shocked by how well the effects were integrated into the editor. With Smoke, it was, I got my timeline, I go in, I can adjust some very basic things, I can do very complex comps. Um, so after that four hours, I just literally tweeted, I love Smoke, and uh, Mark Hamaker instantly sent me a, a DM and said, hey, we should talk. With the production of, of Fix It and Post, I definitely didn't want to go single man style. I knew I wanted it to have a much bigger feel, a very professional, polished feel. But at the same time, we didn't have unlimited budget. We had to keep things very tight and concise. Look back at the wires. We shot uh, Fix It and Post on uh, Red Epic. And they're getting painted out. For us, uh, it was the best. Um, it allowed us to shoot at an extreme high quality, but yet the accessibility and affordability was in line with our budget and it just looks stunning. And what was immensely unique about this project and not one that I've really ever heard about or experienced is that a big time company came to me and said, make us something. We don't have a preconceived idea what it is going to be. We just want something cool that shows off what you can do using our software. And um, that doesn't happen. Usually it's, you know, you get some agency, you get constraints, you get requirements, and this was, bring us something cool. If we think it's cool, you will be happy. It was probably one of the best experiences I've had working for a client.